Okay guys, as far as advice for beginners when you're doing your first rebound or mid-valve assembly, uh, basically the very most important thing is make sure you have the right tools. Do not scratch this shaft or you pretty much ruined it. Um, so get this shaft out. Have, a, have something good to hold it with so you can work on this. Peen off the top, get the nut off. Uh, with this KX250F, we're still going to use the stock, um, this bottom piece, the stock spring, and the stock spacer. And we have one really small shim to extend that spacer. The most important thing you have to remember with these is it all kind of fits together. These bottom shims are going to fall over the shaft, and it all has to, you got to kind of hold it with your hand once you get it in there. <clears throat> and make sure that nothing's in a bind because your float is very important and that's where the mid valve uh, goes up against the piston right there and there there has to be a float there because if something's in a bind and tight and that can't move and there's not a float you're going to have really bad uh, harshness in the fork now the float that race tech recommends on this one is 0.40 and they want you to check them all after you put them together. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, I don't think I've ever had a problem in any gold valve kit I've ever done. The float has all been dead on. But they say, you know, because of manufacturing differences and stuff, you want to check it. So this one's supposed to be 0 0.40 millimeters. So I've got my 0 0.40 feeler gauge, and you just want to get it in there. Don't get any dirt on it like I am. Get it in there between the mid valve stack. And the piston then you know you've got float so yeah must have that float you're gonna have harshness again you have to put all this together and you kind of have to hold down on it and make sure it's all the way down um, and it moves freely otherwise you'll probably put something in a bind when you tighten this nut down it's only 25 inch pounds put some Loctite on the side snug it down you're good to go this is the stock washer and stock nut and that's pretty much it. Now, when you go to assemble it back into the cartridge, pack the, pack these threads full of grease because they're sharp, and you do not want to tear that seal or you'll be in for a bad day. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, good luck with your suspension.